Hello, you're welcome. You're welcome onto my channel today, and it gives me great joy to observe you are viewing this video. I'm Dr. Olayin Kakonli. I'm a lecturer in the university. I'm a researcher. On this channel, I do a number of stars, but research is also very central. Meanwhile, if you have not subscribed to this channel, kindly go ahead and click subscribe on your screen right now. Tap subscribe on your screen right now to join my family of subscribers. It's very important for wonderful content. I've done videos on a number of research design issues. I've done videos on survey. I've done a lot of videos on research. So view my playlist on research. There's a video on every research design you may be thinking about. And you can suggest topics you want me to help you cover. So the video today is on ethnography as a research design. Ethnography as a research design. This is very important. Ethnography is a very really used research design now but it's a very strong one that i think we have to know because of its advantages you know and the strengths so generally ethnography can be described as qual a qualitative research design i've done video on survey and some research designs and qualitative and also quantitative so the ethnography as a research design is a qualitative research design which talks about outright immersion in the research setting, in the research community or organization, outright immersion, total involvement, immersion in that place. You know, you know, you look at the when you look at the cultural embeddedness, outright cultural embeddedness, cultural integration, integration in the research setting, so that you can have total understanding, comprehensive on I mean observation. So when you look at ethnography as a research design, it's a process of data collection, essentially. Though reports of ethnographic research, uh, you know, such reports are also called ethnography. So when you adopt ethnographic research design, the report you are going to write is also regarded as ethnography. So ethnography as a research design will also lead to ethnography as a report. So that clarity or clarification is very important. So it's a product data collection and can also be a report. And this is very important. It covers every aspect of the organization or of the community, of the research setting you are studying. So it talks about air covering the totality of the culture of the organization, totality of the culture of the community. You want to look at it from every component. You want to have a total comprehensive view you are not doing an isolated analysis, but a comprehensive that covers the total culture of the organization or the community, depending on the research you are conducting. Culture is a total way of, way of life of a group of people. So, technically speaking, ethnography covers the culture of the organization, everything, the material and, you know, non-material culture. And ethnography, you know, covers every aspect of the issue and it's a flexible, iterative, research design that means you can you say factor process can go up come down come right go left till you cover the totality of the issue so it's flexible and it, it allows you to understand the deep understanding of the cultural conditions the traditions the normativities the institutions the conventions the social dynamics and the nuances of, of, and condition of the organization or the community you are interested in so the origin of ethnography is actually from anthropology. You know, it's usual is mostly it was first used by anthropologists. Anthropologists to want to understand the cultural domains and boundaries of the issue of interest. But it has gone beyond anthropology now. People in sociology, social sciences, even in marketing research, and even human resources, or even employment relations, or even community health practitioners, epidemiologists, public health practitioners now adopt ethnography so that it can have a total view of the issue and usually ethnography is for extended period we recommend six months average for you to do ethnography but if you do less you can't consider that ethnography because you cannot cover the totality of the issue within six months and some can go into years doing ethnography so six months is usually the average so the, what are the advantages and disadvantages of ethnography Advantages include detailed understanding of the issue, original first-hand understanding of the issue. It gives you detailed qualitative data and it's flexible. You can move within the data, within the period, 
you know, for you to be able to, it's not rigid, like, like survey or administrative structured questionnaire. So this advantage can be, it's time consuming. Imagine you use an average of six months for a research, <laughs> you know, to collect data. So it can be time consuming, can be cumbersome, you know, because you have to cover different aspects of the, of the organization. If you're doing the employment relation or human resources, you know, you don't talk about human resources alone. You may go even into marketing to understand it. You might go into even retirement planning. You might go into strike, issue of strike, issue of pay, issue of gender, issue of age in the same organization, many. So it can be cumbersome. You know, it can, you cannot generalize findings of ethnographic, ethnographic studies. They can lead to sub bias or subjectivity. It can also have ethical issues, depending if you use covert method or, or you use, I mean, covert or overt method. So what are the key questions you have to ask when you are doing ethnographic study? Or before, you have to ask, why am I going to adopt ethnographic design? Why? Can't I use alternatives? Is it the best for me? If it's the best, then yes, you can do. If there are no alternatives, then there, you cannot do anything. But if you can do or you have alternative, you can you make you have to solve that question. Are you going to have access to your field? I'll talk about this later. How do you have access to the organization you want to study or the community? Are you going to have informed consent? Will people give you consent? How long will you will you use? Then do you have the necessary skills? Is it is a it, it, it needs skill? You have to be skilled. Very skillful to be able to use ethnography. You must have the capacity and the ethical issue. Is it, are, you going to do, are you going to get ethical consideration, ethical clearance to do it? Because I'm talking about going into another people, it's different people's community and organization. So you will have to have ethical clearance. Then you have to think about how are you going to break barrier to be to gain access, to be accepted. So you have different approaches. You have open and closed setting. Open setting means you are allowed to have access easily. Close setting me, you are not allowed to have access easily. There are organizations and communities that will not allow you, depending on what your research interest is. Imagine you are doing criminological study on, about crime or rape. Rapists may not allow you. Criminal gangs may not allow you. You know, so you may have to think about you. Some organizations may not want to allow you, even if you are doing human resources or employment relations research. Some organizations may not give you access. They may say, no, we don't want to. We don't want to allow you. We have our own system here. We don't want you. We don't want you to study. It has happened to me severally for different reasons. So if it's a closed setting, you need to consider the issue of access. Then you're doing overt, that is, you want to announce that you are there, or covert observation that they will, they will not know. If it's covert, it has its own ethical problem. People may think you are spying on them. But if it's overt, still, people can believe that, well, if it's open, they can say, okay, you are going to suffer high table effect that your presence in the community or the organization may make them to begin to demonstrate for you or play drama with you. You may not see the real thing because you are there. They're not comfortable to hack their normal way. So you have to look at this. Is it active integration, full integration that you are totally immersed in the place and you are actively involved? Or is it just passive observation or is it just non you know, partial or no integration. This is very important. So ethnographic report, I told you about ethnography can be a report and can be also a design. If it's a report, I need to let you know that writing the ethnographic report may be a bit different from usual report, but you can still follow the traditional pattern. Depending on the school where you are writing your thesis or dissertation or, or report or project, or depending on the organization that are giving you the consultancy to do for them. So, but you can also still follow the traditional pattern of writing. But it depends on the organization and the school. So, no structure. It only depends on your school at the same time. But it has to be detailed. These are the characteristics of ethnographic report. It has to be detailed and original. It has to be descriptive at the same time. Analytical. You know, you can follow the traditional style. But you can also be detailed and comprehensive. It has to be authoritative you know, authoritative, original, and cover every aspect of the culture of the organization or society. That's, it can't just be because you are dealing with human resources or you are dealing with gender. You just look at gender alone. No, you have to look at different aspects to be able to nail what you want to nail. To be able to say, of a fact, this is the situation. Then, what are the processes or stages of uh, ethnographic studies or, or, des or design? You know, you have to determine the research issue. What is the issue you want to understand? What is the topic of interest? And why is ethnography 
the most appropriate research design. Then what is the setting? Where do you want to conduct the study? The problem must be in that place you want to conduct the study. I have a video on research setting or study area. View that video to understand more. Then how do you gain access? Is there an open place where you can get access like open community or a closed community where they are culturally closed or native and not welcoming to the outsiders? Or is it, is it closed like that? Or where you, just, you can just go there, it's open. Then how do you gain access? How do you build trust of your research participant to accept you? It's very important. You have to determine if the research design that is most appropriate is ethnography or another one. Then how do you collect your method? Are you going to use observation alone, participant or non-participant? Are you going to do KI? Are you going to do FGD? Are you going to do you know, IDI? Or are you going to do case study or live history or archive and research as complement? Are you triangulating data within data or, or without data? There's a video on triangulation on this channel. View it to understand more. So what are the methods of data collection, method, or data collection you want to use? How do you analyze the data? Are you using software or manual? Then report writing is another thing you have to sort out. Ethical issues, another thing you want to talk about. Then you have to observe carefully and take notes. That's very important. Field notes. Then avoid what we call high table effect. Make sure your presence there does not color or make them demonstrate for you or hack drama for you. Just for you to see what you want to see. They may not want you to see what they, you truly want to see, but they want to see want you to see what they want you to see. So they are demonstrating for you, they are acting drama for you, deceiving you. You understand? This is what we call eye table effect in research. So uh, you, you make sure you are not carried away. Remember you are a researcher. You are not an original member of the community or the organization. So do your research, be conscious, and collect different types of data. Take your, your field notes is very important. What are you observing? The eye notes. Get different types of data, textual data, record videos, record audio, take pictures, and the rest of it to make sure that you cover everything. You know, your audio, your video, your pictures, your textual writing, and everything, very important. Take elements in the community that you can use data as part of your data analysis. Wow. I, well, I love ethnographic research design, actually. And this is all the things you have to know, important things you have to know. But I recommend it if you can do it. Till I see you in the in my next video. View all my playlists on view my playlists for all my videos on research and you're going to enjoy yourself. Till I see you in my next video, click subscribe to subscribe to this channel and share widely. Bye for now.